What's up guys, it's the Wise Matthew. I am back with another video. So let's go ahead and get into it. My first app is going to be a game called Radiant Defense. And this game is really awesome, guys. So basically it's a, kind of a tower strategy defense game. And what you're going to do is you have to protect these little baddies coming out of the portal from entering this other portal on your left. Um, so how you're going to do that is you can... Uh, of course, place down weapons, uh, use different uh, advances in technology, and upgrade everything. But also, you can um, put these little modules down. That's what they like to call modules. So, as you can tell, I just top the bottom of the screen, and that will kind of place uh, a wall there. And uh, you can kind of place it wherever you need to. And you just click uh, Done when you're done building that. And you can go through this whole thing and just kind of keep building. Um, so, let's just go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do this. So it shows you the, the path that they're going to take. And um, you want to try to make it as difficult as possible for them. So uh, that's what I like to do anyway. Uh, let's take this one out of here. And there we go. And then uh, we're going to click build. And, and then here's my weapons down here. So your weapons are going to be down below. And then you can just tap left or right. And then this will be your different technologies that will be unlocked as you earn more points. Um, your money is going to be up here. Uh, to the right of that will tell you how many modules you have left and then it will actually give you a, a number, usually 10, um, uh, that allows uh, of the bad guys to enter the portal before the mission is scrubbed. Um, the top right is going to be your different waves and um, that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, let's just go ahead and place down some weapons and so you can place them anywhere you want. And you click build and uh, you can upgrade all of them of course. Let's place down like kind of a rocket type thing. Um, this game's really, really fun, and I've tried to do a couple of videos on it, but they've always run really long, so I'm trying to make this really quick. Um, I might do a separate video on it, maybe later, but uh, let's just go ahead and click the play. And you can fast forward it, just like any uh, tower defense game, so let's go ahead and do that. And the graphics are amazing, uh, gameplay's really fun, it's a very, very addicting game. So this is Radiant Defense, and uh, it's free to try out, guys, so uh, if you like what you see right here, um, it's made by a great developer. Um, and uh, yeah, I just really like this game, so check it out, Radiant Defense. Okay guys, so my next app is going to be called Flipboard. A lot of you probably heard about this. It's originally out for the iPhone for quite a bit of time now. Um, it's finally got released on the Samsung Galaxy S3, I believe, maybe? I believe I'm correct. And uh, so it's not officially on the Google Play Store as of yet, and that's what I'm going to show you guys how you can get this for your Android device, any Android device. So um, let me show you uh, how to get it first and then we'll go into how it actually works. So um, how you're gonna get it is you're going to follow my link that I'm gonna put in the description of this video um, to the APK files, which I know it sounds complicated, um, but trust me, this is gonna be easy as possible. This is for um, new beginners or people just looking for this, uh, whatever. So um, basically once you click on that link that I'll provide, um, it'll take you to an XDA uh, developer website, and um, it, once again, I always refer people to this website because it's really uh, a great source for Android uh, users. So what you're going to do is go into the forum, and it's going to take you to the first post. Uh, I just want to give a mention out to uh, Valco, or Valcho, I believe is how you pronounce it, for uh, providing this. Actually, what they've done is um, some great uh, developers have actually gone in and got the APK file from the Samsung Galaxy S3, and uh, made that available, uh, the Flipboard app available to uh, all Android users. So what you're going to notice down here at the bottom of the first post is, uh, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys, uh, it's going to have your APK, so it's a zip file. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to, um, either you can download this, uh, zip it to your PC, or just straight download it to your Android device, which uh, I recommend just go ahead and download it straight to your Android device. It's really easy, it's hassle-free, and it's really good for beginners that aren't familiar with how to transfer this. Um, so down here you're going to notice it says flipboard.apk and that will be the file you're actually going to uh, download and uh, you can uh, click here for the QR code also so if you click there uh, then it'll bring up the QR code and you can just get it that way also. Um, basically what you're going to do is uh, you're just going to go ahead and click right there on the APK uh, it'll say flipboard.apk and then that'll open it up and download it straight to your Android device. And then once that happens, you're just going to go to your apps, your apps list, and then find your downloads app. 
click that and then you're going to see that the Flipboard APK is in there. It'll be the top of the list. Go ahead and click that, open it up, and uh, it'll ask you if it's okay to go ahead and install just like it does on Google Play. And then once you do that, there you're good to go. You have Flipboard and then of course it's going to open up and you're going to have to set it up, but it will eventually look like this. So um, I apologize for running through this. I'm just trying to make this video uh, a little shorter. So um, basically now that you have Flipboard app on your Android device, it's going to be kind of a magazine style um, news feed. And um, it's really cool. I, I did an app uh, review on an app called Tap2, which I thought was really, really cool. But I'm finding myself using this more and more um, all the time. So it integrates your fl Facebook and your Twitter. Um, and that will actually put, put that as your cover stories up here. Um, I have different categories already selected. Uh, I have food, Twitter, film, travel, Flipboard picks. Technology, science, uh, Android on the bottom, gaming, autos, music, all the stuff. Um, but if you don't really know what you want, just kind of uh, when you first go in here, just kind of flip, go through Flipboard picks, and they have kind of a cool thing. So um, once you do that, you can flick your finger up, and you see how smooth and cool that looks. Um, you can kind of check out different things. Uh, there's videos, pictures, great pictures. So here's some pictures right here. Um, Let's just go ahead and tap that, and then it'll take us to the actual article. Uh, if you tap down here, you uh, can share um, via uh, Twitter, uh, share link. I, I, for some reason, it's not letting me share with Facebook, uh, like straight from Flipboard app. Um, I mean, that's something they're going to have to add, but uh, it doesn't really matter because once you go into the actual um, source of the material, um, then you can go ahead and share it on Facebook there. It has a little start at the bottom. You can click that, and that will add it to your favorites. Um, as for the menus and stuff, there's not a whole lot. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, basically, you're just going to pick the things that you like and uh, the things you want to be updated on. So if I go on Android, let's see what's going on. It has some stories right here. Um, it tells you there's an update to Google Maps. And we'll just keep flipping through here. The videos, you, know, you click that, and uh, it'll take you to the video, and you can check that out. So this is the YouTube uh, channel that has the video on there. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, it works really well. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, if you've been looking for Flipboard, uh, been waiting for it, or you've never heard of it, uh, please give this a try. It's completely free. And uh, I think you guys really like it. So I hope I've helped you uh, be able to find this app and get easy access. If you have any questions about the installation, uh, just give me a holler. Uh, you know how to leave me comments. And I will try my best to get back to you all of them and reply. Thanks, guys. Okay guys, you looking for a cool little funny simple style game? Well, this is called Hambo. And what Hambo is, is it's a platformer style game, uh, a little bit of a shooter, and uh, has a little bit of strategy involved. But pretty much uh, all you're going to do is take your little Hambo guy, your little piggy pig, and you're going to kind of attack these guys by gesturing with your finger, tapping different targets, and then uh, it'll kind of shoot. So once you do that, you're going to tap the bottom left here and you only have so many bullets. Give it a tap, and he turns into uh, all kinds of good pork products. Um, this is a good game. I guarantee it'll make you hungry every time you play it. Um, there are different obstacles, and of course, I'm not going to be able to show you them all. Um, you do get we different weapons, machine guns, uh, all kinds of different uh, classes of weapons. Um, pretty, uh, pretty good on the variety here, and uh, the levels can get really tricky. Um, and like I said, you can just aim everywhere. Um, it ricochets off buildings. And, of course, you can shatter glass and all that good stuff. Um, like I said, this is a simple game. Not too much to it. But uh, I find enjoyment playing this. And there we go. So this is called Hambo. If this looks interesting to you guys, um, please check it out. I know it's not um, like a really hardcore game or anything. But uh, I find it enjoyable. So I was hoping you guys would too. Okay, guys. So I have a cool uh, little handy tool for you guys. This is called Message Delayer. And uh, if you're not sure what that means, what it means is basically, let's say you know that you need to send a text message at a certain time, or um, you're going to be somewhere, um, and uh, you just, you, just, you know, you want to have your messages pre-laid out for you. This will allow you to do that. So let's say, um, you know, you want to uh, send a message uh, from an hour from now, or tomorrow, or two days from now. This will allow you to do that. You can um, type a message, and then it'll save it on this uh, app and then I'll send it later on. So um, it's really handy. So like, let's say you have um, some friends that don't wake up till later or um, you know you're going to be somewhere and instead of taking your phone out of your pocket and you know updating people via text message all the time, 
you can go ahead and just do it all at one time. You can set up who you want to send the text messages to, uh, what time, and uh, you can put it on a daily schedule if you have to. So, um, you know, if you want to give someone a heads up every time you leave somewhere or you're on your way home or whatever, you can do that daily. So how this works is you're just going to go to your scheduler. You're just going to click uh, your menu button. You're going to go to add. You're going to uh, tap in whoever you want to uh, send your text to. And then down here, you're going to enter your text. So whatever you want to do. And then uh, basically what you're going to do is you can set uh, repeat. So you can do never, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. And I don't know why they give you that many options, but they do. That's great that they do. Um, you can set the time. Uh, you can do it on a uh, AM, PM schedule, 24 hour, whatever works for you. Um, you can do it by calendar, uh, by day, um, and there's even a timer. So you can set a timer, which, uh, you know, if that works for you and that's something that's, uh, that's handy for you, uh, it's there. And if you don't ever want to use that, that's fine too. Um, it's pretty it's pretty cool. Um, so I had uh, a friend that waked up, uh, he woke up later um, than I do, and uh, I didn't want to wake him up, so... I uh, waited to send a text message, and um, there was one little problem I had where I actually set this on daily, so it, it actually sent him uh, the same message a couple days in a row, and uh, of course, you know, he's cool with it, whatever, um, but just be aware of that, so if you do set on daily, make sure that after it's, the message has been sent, go back in there and set to never, um, or just go ahead and delete it. Uh, to delete them, you're just going to tap delete and that'll take care of that. It'll show you what's been sent. Um, it's just a really handy, nice little tool. It's nothing too complicated, guys. Um, this is called Message Delayer, and uh, it's free to use, so please check it out. Okay, guys, this is a fun little simple game called Honey Battle, Bears vs. Bees, and uh, you have bears coming down on parachutes, and you're the bees shooting at little hives, um, or little bees, sorry. And uh, what you're gonna do is just basically, it's kind of like Missile Command if you ever played that game. Um, these bears are gonna come down and you're gonna try to stop them. And there's different varieties of bears. Some are faster, some are larger, smaller. And you're gonna have different uh, perks that come along um, as you do this. Um, if I just keep going here, it'll progressively get harder. And I'm only on wave two right now, so it's not that bad. But uh, you know, it's, it's a simple game, it's relaxing. It's got kind of a funny comedic uh, music to it. And uh, I like it. Uh, I'm kind of digging it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit and show you guys what the gameplay looks like and uh, how it progressively gets harder. So here we go. Okay, so right here you can tell uh, that guy's a pretty fast mover. And it has a nice little slapping noise when you hit him. Oh. Um, you're only allowed three bears to actually hit the ground. Um, they're trying to get your honey because it's, you know, bears versus bees, and uh, they like honey, you know. Um, so there's not a whole lot to talk about here. It's just this is the gameplay, and uh, what you see is what you get with this one. Um, but I found it, uh, I found it funny and it entertained me for a few minutes. And here we go. So we got some special perch coming through. Ah, see if we can get it. Oh, okay, got it. And some of those will give you like extra life um, or extra honey jars, whatever they they're calling it. Um, as you can see, I let three get down away. Um, pretty hard to play right now, but that's how you play it. Um, it's a cool game. It's free, so check it out, guys. See ya.